right, I'll show you a couple different ways to play this. Um, I'll show you a way that might be a little easier for beginners, but we'll start with the hard way. Um, so we got some bar chords here. Um, so you're gonna you're gonna play a D minor ish chord. So you're just gonna kind of bar across the uh, fifth fret high E through um, A string, and then your ring finger is gonna set down on the seventh fret of the D. So that gives you kind of like an open sounding D minor chord. And then I'm, I'm kind of palm muting a little bit, so I'm just karate chopping by the bridge to get that muted sound. So you're gonna go, you're just gonna plug A, D, G, B. Back to the G. So you've got, one more time. Then you're gonna you're gonna keep your hand in that position, but you'll start from the D, D, G, B, and then you add your pinky on eighth fret of the B. So you pluck the B twice. Hear that? So here's what we got. All right, now we're gonna play, uh, what is this? This would be a B flat major seven um, arpeggio. So you're gonna start with your pinky here on the eighth fret of the D, and you're gonna pluck that note. And then you, get, you set each of your fingers at an angle. So you've got your ring finger on seventh fret of the G, middle finger sixth fret of the B, index finger fifth fret of the high E. All right, now there's a, a kind of a doubled up uh, notes um, in this riff, but I'm just gonna show you what I think is the main melody. So you've got. So that's Pinky just jumps down to uh, eighth fret of the B for that. One more time. Then you're gonna play, uh, we're gonna play a G minor arpeggio. So you start your ring finger on the fifth fret of the D. So what that is, is fifth fret of the D, index finger bars across the third fret of the G and B. All right, and you just plug G, then B, and then you're gonna set your pinky down on sixth fret of the B. So one more time, real slow. So let me just run this real slow, then I'll show you the other way to play uh, this first chord so you don't have to play a, a D minor uh, bar chord. So one more time, real slow. So if you don't want to play that D minor bar chord there, you could go like this. Just set your index finger first fret of the B, middle finger second fret of the G, and then you start on the D string. So you're just plucking D, G, B, E, B. So you'd be like... So you'd be like, is that making sense? So you're just playing the same riff. But you're ending with your ring finger on the third fret of the high E. So you got. One more time. And then you would still have to come up here, I think, to get that. You, so you still have to play those two positions the same. All right, and just one last quick note. Um, if you're 
if you're playing through the riff, no matter where you start the D minor chord, um, so you're going through. So you will notice in the recording, you can also hear kind of a secondary note there on that uh, B major seven. That's actually what it is right there. So you could play either one. I like the higher one. I like that one, but you can play, you can play that instead, which is just fifth fret of the B. All right, so I hope that helps you get a good start on this song. Go ahead, hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next video.